Alright guys, they're playing a Volibear on today's video. We're playing a Volibear versus a Garen top lane and for the runes we're running a Lethal Tempo, Triumph, Alacrity, Last Sense, Demolish, and then also Bone Plating. Now this game we're going to be 1v9ing with the ton of changes they've done roughly I think about a week ago. Like Volibear is now new meta, it's got like a 10% uh, popularity rate which is insane. And the win rate is really high. I don't know if you guys have seen the statistics but like... They have been ridiculous, bro. I actually didn't expect Volibear to change that much in terms of stats. It's kind of wild to see like how OP he's become. I honestly thought that the changes weren't going to be that uh, impressive, but they actually are. Get the shield. Pop in this one. Nice. We got a good start. I'll walk away from the auto. Definitely not taking the free auto attack. I'd rather... Walk away, not tank anything. I could drop my E down here specifically, but I think I'm definitely not doing that just yet. So I believe that Talia is going to be moving top lane. We are going to get into a fight, possibly two versus two, but I do think we end up winning it if it happens. One thing I'm actually very disappointed in is that I have teleport. Thank you, client. I didn't choose teleport. That's unfortunate. I accidentally uh, hit the button for like an automatic room page. I didn't want an automatic room page and now it actually puts teleport in there. Kidding? Okay. I mean, teleport isn't too bad here, but I was so much more happy if I actually had ignite. Whatever, I guess. Nice. We'll take that fight. My next W is more, uh, more aggressive. Ah, I'm getting cheesed. <laughs> this is actually why. <laughs> Are you kidding me? So I wanted to play that out for myself. I did not expect the flash though, but the ignite change would, would have been perfect there for me. It's whatever. I should be okay. I can TP back and still get the wave. Nice. I'm gonna try to... Never mind, I have an idea. So rather than rather than freezing, it's actually very hard to do on Volibear because of the passive. We're actually gonna shove this out and then just get item advantage. Hold on a second. There you go. This is way better because right now we can back, we can buy my items and then we can come back uh, way stronger than we should be. Uh, just, uh, uh, let me just take a look at my runes. Okay, this is, this is good. Sorry, wait for a second. So, for the build this game, one thing that I absolutely highly encourage, if you're actually going to be snowballing laning phase and you are going to win very hard, I absolutely always recommend Nash's Tooth and then going for Rift Maker as a secondary item. If you have a very hard game so far, um, you can actually also go for Rift Make as a first item, but Nash's Tooth is what I would always highly advise if you're going for AP Volibear. So, uh, Tank Volibear is also very strong, AD Volibear is, well, average. Uh, generally speaking, like, Tank Volibear isn't that strong in my opinion. AP Volibear is, in my opinion, the way to go, especially if you have, like, a full AD team comp. It's the best thing that you can do. Drag the wave up here. Nice. Take the shield. Back off. I kind of want to hold it out like this. Um, unfortunately, Garen's going to hit Ignite again on the next fight. So, that's slightly worrying. Got him. Yeah, I am. I was slightly worried about the fact that Garen was going to ignite again, but we actually got to burst him before even getting level 6. I was trying to burst him on level 6 here, by the way. That was my plan. That's why I had ignite in my mind, because it should be coming back at some point. But, still made it, fortunately. Okay, for the item, we are pretty much uh, straight up going to be building into the Nash's Tooth. Pretty much straight up. Um, let's actually go ahead and just... 
I'll just go for this one, just to make it easy. I was thinking maybe I can go Berserker's Greaves. Um, let me check here. I was going to go for Berserker's Greaves, but I'm actually just going to go Nash's Tooth because then I get my power spike way faster. The faster I get the Nash's Tooth, guys, the faster my power spike is. That's where that's where the big damage comes from when you when you build that item. If you go Berserker's Greaves, you can chase better, but you also delay your power spike. This one's about to die. Well, they are turning around as soon as I walk there, so that's great. Uh, Pantheon has no ultimate yet. Their Talia is still not showing. I don't think it's going to help. No. It was a nice attempt. It was a nice one. Fortunately, we're level 7. This guy is a level 6 at the moment, so we have a really nice advantage. And I think I'm probably going to end up like putting points in my E at some point now. Uh, we'll see. This guy's overextended far too much. Hmm. Nice. That's pretty good. Chunked him down very low HP. So he will heal back, of course. It's Garen at the end of the day. Garen will always heal back from the passive. Do keep that in mind, guys, when you play against it. Got him. Let's go for some plates, too. Didn't even use my potion for it. And we pretty much got my Nashus to it, so that's honestly a great start. Very good. Let's go for a Contra Ward. And let's go back. So you can see, right, we had... Uh, previously at level, uh, I believe level 3 or level 4, we had a bit of a rough time, actually got killed by the Ignite from Garen, which made, pretty much made the difference. Um, ever since then, we've been a completely, completely outscaling him. And especially now, now that we have my Nasus Tooth, we are even stronger right now. Far stronger than what we were previously. So if we fight him now, I can guarantee you we are going to win the fight, without a doubt. Oh, we can freeze the wave for a while, so that's not a problem. Gotta be really slow with the auto attacks, because otherwise my passive will proc, and it's not going to allow me to freeze anymore. Seems like Garen is going to be rotating into the jungle. So I think I might shove this out, because he's going to be farming my jungle camps. Nice. Uh, Garen should be showing up any second. I do think I can proc my Demolish. Yeah. No, that's worth it. I got the proc, so I got the plating, I got the gold for it, and all he had was a good, like a small, really small trade, which doesn't really impact the lane in any in any way of uh, in any way possible. So, plus we get to shove this part out. Very good. I think uh, after one more wave, we are ready to get the Berserker's Greaves, which will provide even more attack speed. So, I think I'll end up shoving this wave out just so I can purchase my item, then come back stronger. Yeah, now we can actually go back to base. I'll just let him farm this out. I don't really care. I just want to get my item and then, you know, come back stronger. So. Nice. Yeah, we're we're pretty much... As, like, this is, in my opinion, the biggest power spike of Volibear. Once you actually buy a Nash's Tooth, it's the best item that the gold can buy for you. Literally. Any other item that Volibear builds will never be as strong as Nash's 2 it's going to be. This item is everything in one. Everything you would need. We can TP to Balin. It's actually a very deep ward for the Trial Bush, but I think I'm just going to let it for now. Uh, 
Let's push out this part. Nice. That's a lot of damage, man. I, I've been taking damage from the tower too, of course, but... Gotta be a little careful now. It's a bit too much. Little bit too much. Let's grab the plants here so I can get back to full HP. Nice. I think I might actually pick up another one since the wave is still trying to arrive. Missed everything. Ah, uh, I missed my full combo. I missed my E. I, I missed my R. I also got a delayed Q because he actually ran off. I actually underestimate the, the, the movement speed from Talia there for a second. Feels bad, man. Not good. That actually impact the game a little. Okay, we're gonna go Rift Maker. We can also go for Lich Bane, which is super nice. But Rift Maker is a better option. Yeah, this is the problem. Like, we're losing the plates. When you rotate like that, TP is only worth it when you can get several kills. If I actually had all three of them, this would have been 100% worth but, of course, we only got one. We died after. We lost every single play. So this TP is actually super bad, man. Super bad one. Because it actually led to Garen getting back here. And I didn't get that much. I think I might end up uh, pushing the next wave too. It kind of depends here. Because I want to try and force the wave between towers so I can then rotate to the jungle too and take everything. Nice. Exactly going to way how I'm planning it to because now I can go for this one. And we can also farm this jungle camp right here. And then we can go back top lane. So we're getting both of the jungle camps and we get like a deep ward so we can see where the jungler is going to be. Oh, turns out he's still up there. Nice. I think I might not prioritize him. The wave is more valuable to me. Wave is always more valuable if you don't get the kill anyways. It's just not worth going for. Maybe we can go for the tower. Maybe. It's not looking good for Camille. <laughs> He's still going to end up dying too. Well, push in as always. I could maybe proc demolish. But there are people behind me. Nice. Okay. So, uh, what? What is he building exactly? Shoujin? Am I missing meta stuff here? Or like, that's new to me. I I've seen many new builds on Garen, but like Spear of Shoujin? I can imagine that working. This doesn't sound that bad. Okay. That certainly doesn't sound that bad. I don't know, man. I don't think that my rotation is going to do anything, but... Okay, we actually do... Uh, we do get something out of this. Cool. Which means we have my... Uh, we got the tower now. Cool. And then we can also grab this wave here. And then we can go back. And I think, I don't know, but I think we can even get more here. Mm, maybe too much to ask for. The jungle camps are about to spawn. Where are they? <laughs> They're spawning now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, whatever, man. We've got the Garen here. 
I don't know which direction he's going to go into, but he certainly looks like... Uh, Okay. We'll push out this part too. I don't really... Uh, not really happy to see my wave like flying down. Because I needed that wave to continuously stay ahead of Garen here. Whatever. More of the wave, and before we can really back, before we really do, I'm just gonna see if I can get anything else here. Just anything. Okay, it seems like all of the jungle camps have been farmed. So we're not even getting one. Got it. Next item is likely to be Zhania. The reason why I value Zhania here much more than ever is because we actually actually run into this Garen, which I need to dominate later on in the game. If I don't build anything against him, it's going to be a real challenge. I've no idea what Katarina is doing, but it seems like she's running it down at the moment. Nice catch. I think we can probably get more too. I'm not Maybe I can just I'll just farm the wave in mid. Smarter idea. Okay, and I think he will probably show top lane again. Let me just go for the tower real quick because Katarina still did. That'll make a difference. And I think I might not go back immediately. Unless Garen will show here. Okay, we're gonna go for this stuff. Seems pretty, uh, very playable. I don't know if there's vision. That's kind of the problem. I feel like they have a very large amount of vision because they just don't show. Getting the red buff. Really nice. I was thinking about diving because I actually have my ultimate for the um, for the all in. But it's better if we don't. Can't really buy anything else on like only this item. It's not really an optimal purchase, but I also can't stay that much because Garen is pushing top lane. I need to secure the wave. Okay. Well, my teammates have died in the worst possible moment. This might actually... Uh, we might actually end up losing Dragon right now. I'm, I'm not entirely sure, but... My land was named by a god. I don't think I can change anything. Be a maybe if we can get one catch without using ult, we can maybe... I think I probably did. Yeah. Unfortunately, I'm getting chased down at the moment. Uh, that's a Garen, uh, probably in the tri bush. I suspect. Or a, they don't chase me down anymore. That's interesting. Oh, they stopped chasing me down. Need 1.2k and we're still not a dragon, so we might still lose the dragon anyways. Perhaps maybe we can at least, at least get a tower, so. We're getting something back for pushing this out. And maybe if we're very lucky, we can also secure the jungle camps as well, if they're not taken already.
I don't know. I feel like they're going... Nah, I feel like they're going Baron, which just doesn't make any sense to me. Yeah, this is... This is nice. Really nice. It's the best thing that I could get. And uh, we also have my Zhania. I can I can fight Garen right now very easily. I should be able to Zhania. Zhania gives me the strength needed to keep on one v oneing him. Um, I also can just I can just entirely escape his his combo if I if I like using the Zhania itself. Does not seem to be going for my jungle camps. My next item is gonna try. Um, I'm gonna try building towards uh, keep on one v one in Garen, so I can TP eventually and just make one right play. That's my plan. This TP is not gonna do anything for real. Like it does nothing. Uh, they're still they actually go for this so maybe i can make a play in bot lane and just actually keep going because i'm seeing four people at the moment wait yeah i'm tipping out because they're on the way here And maybe, I, I don't think we can actually get the tower, but we'll have to see. Because they actually do have a Talia. Yeah, they, they got the backport for Baron too, so. 1.6k. Uh, we can buy another component for the Rabbitons this time. Or we can maybe go into Lich Bane, which is not a super nice item. But I, I, I think it's actually going to be... Uh, this item. There you go. Uh, dragon is 2 minutes and 20. There will be another team fight soon. But I'm gonna try to prioritize the bot lane tower too. I'm gonna try and prioritize the second, the tier 2 tower, because that one provides a lot of gold. Hmm. Two people in mid, so three other people are still missing. Wait. I'm not gonna move up. I just don't see any of them at the moment, so it just doesn't make any sense for me to, sh to show up in bot landing and try and continue pushing. They're still all missing. Pantheon does show. Hmm. As long as my teammates don't aggressively play, then there's nothing I can do. He seems to be quite uh, tanky now. It's been changing. Okay, I need my teammates to group and start playing so I can split push. Uh, the reason why my teammates are dying right there is just because they're grouping and my team aren't grouping. That just makes the entire difference. Uh, he walks up at me. Really? Hey, that's delete. That's delete. That's not what I wanted. This game is a joke. This game is such a joke. 
my oh, i hate that when it happens i talk about this so much i press my zonia you know what happens i press my zonia and the game thinks that i want to press zonia right so it wants to press Zhonya for me, but you get CC'd. What happens is the game thinks like, oh, well, you pressed Zhonya 20 seconds ago. Let me cast it now for you. I didn't cast my Zhonya when it went off here. It was delayed Zhonya. I cast it here and I, and the Zhonya went off when I was standing here. I didn't choose to go Zhonya there. Like, it's not what I wanted. It's the same thing that happens with Flash. Sometimes you get a delayed Flash. Because the game thinks that you still want to flash after the stun, so it does that automatically for you. I hate when it happens. That's really unfair, because the Zanya was just such such a bad one. But yeah. Okay, we need to try and fight into Garen again. But going for a team fight is just nice. The thing is that I have teleport in this game, and uh, this Garen does not have teleport. Meaning that if we uh, are split pushing into Garen and then a team fight appears, we can actually win the entire team fight just because I got TP and he does not have TP. It makes a really big difference. So uh, we just need my teammates to actively start playing together. That's all. Let's see, I got Rabbit so we can split super quickly. This place has been tamed. I will untame it. Again, the full enemy team are all missing. They could be here. Okay, I'm, I'm just waiting for my teammates to group and push because as long as they don't do their thing, I can't split. So I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting for the longest time. I hope they'll end up doing it. Uh, this is not really anything that I can TP to. Okay, my teammates will just have to accept that they're gonna end up losing that part. Again, we go back as Talia is showing. We gotta run back as quickly as possible. I think it might still happen. Talia is showing somewhere in the jungle, so if they move up here... Oh, they will act they're actually dying again. Okay, this is not good. Well... I can't really split push. It's very hard. I got TP difference, and that should be enough to win the game, but... The macro part of this game is being played incorrectly. We have to go back again. If my teammates go Baron, uh, I can TP turn 5 against 4. This guy's a red buff. Level 18, let's go. Perfect. Now we just need Garen to show here. We just have to keep waiting for the right moment. Can't imagine a world where this is going to work. If he lives off, that would be great. Still waiting for the day where I can split push properly. I'm still waiting. Like this is the most annoying part of top lane. You, you're you're split pushing, but you can't really do any place. My TP is just there to exist at the moment. I also can't one v one Garen very easily because he's been level 18 now too. He's got like three items at the moment. It's extremely unlikely I get to kill a Garen, so I just have to keep on doing this. You see that Garen is like trying to move, but I'm I keep on pushing bot lane, so he can't really do anything. Uh, Talia is not showing again. Okay, he's showing right now. Nice. 
Nice. Very good. Uh, I have archers to make. I'm just gonna keep on pushing this. I think that my teammates win. If my teammates win this, the game will end really fast now. Because if they kill them, then I'll just finish the game. I'm basically dead. Yes, I'm uh, basically dead. But I think that my teammates can finish. Because it's only Garen that remains. Uh, okay, yeah, this game should be over. <laughs> this Garen is 1 versus 3. Okay, this game is over, GG. Volleybeer top lane, bro. This stuff is amazing. You should play it. Love how hard the tally is try harding. <laughs> yeah, Volleybeer top lane. Thanks so much for watching this video. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.